Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Magician in the upright, followed then by the Nine of Wands upright. Next, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, followed then by Major Arcana, the High Priestess in the upright, and lastly, the King of Swords in the upright. So your overall energy, Taurus, is the lovely magician in the upright position. Well, you could be very, very focused this week, uh, magician, um, trying to be the magician. As above, so below, you are trying to bring in something and make it manifest. You're fully confident in it. Look at the beautiful yellow solar plexus activation. So you are really busy trying to manifest something, bringing it about. Now... What that is could be pretty much anything. These are just general reads. Only take what makes sense for you. But this could be for some of you, perhaps you're trying to manifest, like say, for example, um, you don't care for your job too much. Maybe you're trying to really put a lot of attention and energy into switching that up. Maybe you're putting out resumes there and trying to, you know, maybe some of you even have a vision board and you have something put up there on your vision board to focus in on. If you're trying to manifest anything from a place to live to a new vehicle to a new job to a new relationship, whatever it is, you're putting your full focus this week on it. Now, right at the beginning of the week, we have the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior here. Maybe that makes a little bit of sense. Perhaps you're dealing with a challenge, Taurus, that keeps coming up to bite you in the butt, so to speak, over and over again. You could have uh, dealt with this matter maybe nine times already or over the last nine months. Some of you maybe over the last nine years, but this could be a thorn in your side. This could represent something that you focus now remember when it comes to the wounded warrior although he has the strength and reserve and can push forward if he should need to he is rather tired uh a little bit beat up if you look at the depiction on the card um but he's standing his ground because he knows that he can push through push forward with whatever it is he needs so now um imagine that uh, Taurus that you are dealing with a situation it could be anything for some of you it could be a health situation it could be a financial situation it could be a relationship situation job again it's like I keep you know coming up against this same block over and over and over again what gives would make sense why the magician is here because you could be saying I am determined this time to get past this one it doesn't necessarily mean that just just because it looks like, oh no, here comes my crazy boss again. They're going to be trying to give me a hard time. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen when this energy comes around. It's just that we're feeling like it could happen again. And it could be that that's what's, you know, spursing you on to get into magician mode. <laughs> The next card up is the Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. This can indicate one of two things for you, Taurus. For some of you, um, there was somebody or a group of people that either abandoned you or left you, you know, in the dust, or you did that with them. The card inverted can indicate you could be seeing a return of these people or this person for one reason or another. Um, sometimes the Five of Pentacles in the upright can point to uh, financial situations where we're a little bit concerned that we don't have enough to fund our, you know, our situation for that week, for that month, or what have you. But when the card is inverted, and this can indicate that there is a little bit more of a f easy flow of uh, finances. Perhaps uh, there is some assistance or some help, or it could be a budget that you yourself come up with. And, um, and put things in a nice, neat little package to ensure... Um, 
tourists generally are very security minded um, people. So it could be that it's you yourself or you're just trying to sort of insulate yourself financially going forward with some kind of system. Now it could be that you borrowed money from the bank, say for example, in order to put all of your, consolidate all of your bills into one so it's a lot more easy to manage. Or it could be that you just, like I said, put yourself on some type of budget so that you can ensure that you have whatever you need for the rest of the week. Now, moving forward, we do have, this is moving towards weekend energy, we do have the High Priestess here in the upright position. High Priestess points to sort of secret knowledge, things going on behind the scenes, maybe rumblings that we feel, we sense. I've always said this, Torians are very psychic people. People, they can be when they want to be um, they just tend to have a knack for that so it could be Taurus that you're sensing something towards moving towards the weekend but you don't really know what it is you feel something that is going on now generally with the high priestess because it is about secret knowledge this is about something we could be either hiding from ourselves this could be something that others are hiding from us it's not necessarily nefarious sometimes people don't tell us what's going on for their own reasons and you have to respect that um, if you really want to know what's going on if it concerns you and you feel it intensely that it concerns you it could be that you need to listen to your intuition for those of you who do do meditation this would probably be a good time to do that if you're feeling or you're sensing that something is going on behind the scenes it may not come up right away what is happening so you might have to listen to your intuition on that one uh, you know watch your dreams ask yourself before you go to sleep at night what is happening what is going on what should I expect and sometimes if you do that just before you fall asleep in the morning you will get your answer also too if none of these things work for you make sure you always go with your gut what's your gut feeling telling you um last card you have interestingly enough is the king of swords in the upright position the king of swords is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is air energy gemini libra aquarius sun moon or rising it could very well be that this is someone in your life external to you this could be your husband wife bff family member uh co-worker friend but this could also represent somebody official like a, a judge or a police officer a lawyer someone in the military or a uh, surgeon so um, it's I say interestingly enough to come after the high priestess because whatever it is you don't know you could be spending a, a period of the weekend where you're in suspense about something the king of swords is known for someone who brings the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth doesn't mince his words shoots from the hip definitely um, is it keeps uh, emotion out of it is definitely uh, you know, uh, mental, cerebral, uh, and logical. And that's what he's interested in. So perhaps for some of you, this could be what you're sensing. Maybe you're, you're not really knowing. Perhaps, say, your uh, surgeon or somebody from his office gets a hold of you and says, okay, we're going to be doing something. You're not quite sure what it means and you feel like there's more to it. It could be that you turn around uh, the next day and all of a sudden it's all explained to you, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it could be that, you know, if it's a like even a, a legal matter, it could be the next day your lawyer or somebody like that explains it all to you. So let me know in the comment section below if this resonated for you and do tell us how so. That's what I have for you, my dear Taurus. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.